Welcome to lockdown vlog number 28. Another beautiful day in Rotterdam. So let's play some music. Let's drink some coffee. Okay, so while the music is playing, um, I want to be there. I put this on just now and in a few minutes, short time, you never know when, the coffee is going to pour out from that spout and I'm going to Out. but also I know this will not give me a copyright claim this music and I will tell you why a little bit later on I'm going to explain something about this wonderful mocha pot I have another one over here bigger size and one of the reasons that I'm showing this to you because one of the beautiful things about this machine is when, ah, there it is, when the coffee starts to pour into the machine on top of it. And that's where that nice black gold will fill up the machine. you know when it's done so when it starts to gurgle you take it off from the heat source you take your favorite cup and you pour yourself a nice mocha Okay, so I love this little baby. Um, this is a mocha pot and I'm sure you all have seen this design somewhere, sometime. And the mocha pot that I have here is just the same principle, just another design with a glass top and that is why I like it. These things are actually very simple. So on top here, that's where your coffee is going to come. You just seen that over here on the side, there are some holes that the coffee will come out and the coffee is coming from downstairs. So let me show you. There's a filter right over there. So the coffee particles don't get into your uh, coffee, your coffee your coffee is something that you put in this little basket and through this hole water that is inside here water will heat up because this is sealed there's a pressure building up and that's when the water will creep up to this spout will go through the coffee, through this extra filter and then it will go up there and it will end up right over here in your coffee and the reason because you have a small one over here and
a big one over there. The reason for these two sizes is that most coffee, when you do something like coffee over here and you want to make one or two or five cups, you just put in the amount of coffee and water that you want. This is different because these filter basket this is where you put in your coffee and you have to fill this one up until the top you cannot say this is for two cups and I'll just fill it up half for one cup that's not how this thing works so that is why you have all the different sizes for these mocha pots now let me take a little sip And that's a nice coffee with a nice body that you get from that. Okay, so the music that you are listening to is from a guy called Proy. This is a little bit um, lounge background music, not something you would use as, a, as an audio file for listening. But the interesting thing for me about this music is because this is made by the son of a friend of mine. This is just a young kid and he has made his first album and he put it on Spotify. And for me he gave it free, meaning this will not get a, um, a copyright strike. If it does I'm going to have to call uh, have to call him and um, well just do me a favor uh, check out his uh, album uh, listen to it on Spotify and it'll make him some money which is just which is funny okay so that is why I chose this music for today now let's see if YouTube agrees with this not being something to, um, to uh, strike, to give a copyright on. Okay, so let's get back over there. I got a lot of very nice comments on my wonderful espresso machine yesterday. And somebody asked me about the Violetti, the mocha pot. So that's why I thought, well, let's use this one uh, today. Um, there was, because I have asked you a question uh, before, and I have another question for you from another subscriber. And his question is because of the Chromecast audio now not being made anymore. And he was looking for what is a good alternative for the Chromecast audio. Now there's a few reasons um, why I don't have an answer for that. One is when the Chromecast audio was still uh, being sold, it was very cheap. And for the same price, I have no idea at this moment what you can buy that have the same possibilities, the same sound quality, because I think the Chromecast uh, even when you use its own uh, DA converter, is a very nice, friendly DA converter. It's pretty good uh, sounding, not high-end, but for 40 bucks, it is just a great thing. So I don't know for that price what you can get today with the same uh, possibilities. Also, um, not to be a snob about it, but I'm always looking in a higher price range, so I'm also not very um, familiar with the things that are on the market. I believe there's something from uh, Yamaha that is on the market, but that's already three times as expensive as the Chromecast Audio. So if any of you guys have um, any idea, any tips, um, what, would be, what would be a good replacement for the Chromecast audio um, and put it down in the comments and uh, I think this is a nice way to help each other. Also, um, there is already a lot of views on the first room tour that I did and I'm happy to say that there's already 
a few people who applied to have their systems also featured in a room tour so the series is going to get uh, bigger and i'm of course very happy with that so um if you still want to apply you still can just give me a message on the audio file barista at gmail.com and for today i am going to do some work that's why i keep it short today uh, it is friday so the weekend is coming up so i'm not seeing you tomorrow or the day after that but we'll meet uh, again on monday and i believe that is all that i had for uh, today so give uh, give my friend's son proy some listening time make him some make him some bucks that would be nice and for now i say thank you for watching and i'll see you next time and next time is monday <laughs>